Are you attracted to bad boys? And do you believe you can actually change them into becoming what you want them to become? You know, be maybe good boys for you, but be bad boys for the other women. So very easy thing for you to actually be happy in a relationship, create a happy relationship, is realizing that you will never be able to change a bad boy to be a good boy. It is like trying to change the blue sky to be green. It's someone's character. And if you choose to be with someone, you basically tell them, I accept you as, do, as you are right now. So what many people, many women and many, many teenage girls do, they fall in love with the potential. They can see like, oh, he'll be great when he earns more money or when I change him, he's going to take out the garbage. And uh, so falling in love with the potential is not falling in love with the person. So assume that the guy you're dating will be exactly the same as is the first day of dating or the first one, two, three, six months of your relationships if you do live together. It's the best way to see how someone is when you fall asleep and when you wake up, when you're grumpy, when you're hungry. So it's a vicious game of being with someone, but then always reoccurring relationships. So if you experience that you're attracted to a bad person, you just can't do anything about it, but you always end up hurt, you, you know, get painfully hurt or they just disappear. It is basically one constant. So if you had a lot of relationships and they just keep reoccurring, the same thing, the same feelings is one thing that never changes, one constant is you. It's not them. So what can be a huge difference is change your beliefs about who you are, change your beliefs about what a healthy relationship is. Sometimes we don't have great role models about, you know, great role models that teach us what a good, healthy, respectful relationship is. So we got to go out there and learn it ourselves. Some people didn't have good parents, so there are courses out there how to be a good, peaceful parent, how to bring up a healthy child that is emotionally healthy, not just physically healthy, but how to have healthy boundaries, how to not explode, because you don't want reoccurring from generation to generation unhealthy patterns, negative emotions, and which does, you know, lurk in and it just goes from generation to generation until someone says stop. And for example, I don't want to be angry anymore. I don't want to be a victim anymore. I actually want to have a happy, healthy, harmonious relationship and I will do the research. So realize that there's incredible information out there. An example, Carolyn Miss is a super awesome writer and speaker. And if you can find her, Carolyn Miss, very blunt, you know, likes to be just in your face, you know, like, you got problem, you can't get this, get over it. So sometimes we need people to not constantly pat us on the back and uh, let us stay in our sob story. Sometimes we really need someone to give us a reality check and say, you know what, this relationship is not for you or you will never be able to change him. And listen, if you do have a bad boy, there's basically two options. Number one, you are able to change him. Let's imagine. And he does what you want. He takes the garbage out. He buys you flowers every Tuesday. He, you know, bows down to you. What will happen is you will get bored. You'll lose the fire and the spark and you'll just push him into the friend zone. It's like, you know, it's not it. I just don't feel it anymore. Option number two, which more likely will happen is a bad boy. You try to change him. Maybe he's going to play along the first few months because he thinks you're hot or he's you know attracted to you and wants to make it work but eventually he's gonna pull back he will spend less time with you he will just you know pull back pull back pull back and just disappear and if you have experienced that it is because you have an unrealistic expectation of yourself that you're able to change people and an unrealistic unrealistic expectation towards yourself Meaning that you don't even you're not even aware that you are able to only change yourself and that there are ways to change yourself. So the biggest thing is if you are not happy in your life and you had reoccurring relationship issues, you gotta ask yourself, what do I believe 
about myself to tolerate this. So it's about tolerance. So it's about, you know, what are we, you know, allowing in our life? Do we really believe we deserve it? And if yes, is it because we saw it in the people that brought us up? Do we have something in our life that we we don't think we deserve? So it's very often it's part of this deservability and we don't think we're we're good enough, we're pretty enough, we're smart enough, we're funny enough to attract a really awesome partner. So change your beliefs. There's fantastic way, ways to change your beliefs on a really deep level. Uh, find a coach that has awesome results and that uses techniques that can change beliefs. And then you feel more empowered, you believe you truly deserve it on a really deep level. Because if you're on a deep level, still believe what you believed when you were 10 years old. On a conscious adult level, you want to believe something better, that you deserve more. There's always going to be this distance between those two. So you got to work on the bottom because you got to have a strong foundation. And that can be done through hypnosis, that can be done through NLP, HNLP, um, matrix reimprinting, emotional freedom technique, many, many other therapies. So there is a lot of great stuff out there. Another attitude that really helped me to feel more relaxed about life and people if I would get upset is the F it attitude. John C. Parking is an author of a book called F Star CK It. And it's the attitude of not really caring. So not taking everything too personal, not taking everything to your heart, and just having a little less of caring towards what other people do that you can't control. Realizing if someone wants to be nice, they'll be nice no matter what. If someone wants to do something wrong, they'll find a way to do something wrong. It is basically realizing no matter how much we worry, no matter how much we pout and cry, people will do what they want to do. So exercise, change your beliefs, find someone that can guide you to where you want to be, to make you feel, help you feel empowered, to remember how awesome you actually are. That um, when you work with someone, you should feel uplifted and happier about yourself and become more and more independent so that eventually you don't need a coach anymore. And use the effort attitude say it in your head or say it out loud and just see how it works it's magic when you just go you know what effort doesn't matter matter and when you start working on yourself you start looking for ways how to become more productive and happier and better there are some incredible books around videos seminars teachers coaches guides so research about what a healthy relationship is because Look, not all of us had really good role models about what an awesome, healthy relationship is. So we got to learn ourselves. So figure it out. There's amazing information out there what will serve you incredibly well. And we can learn. We can create some other ways of being. Uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza has a book, uh, Changing the Habit of Being Yourself. And it talks about how we have habits of emotions. We are addicted to familiar emotions. So if we for 10 years feel miserable and then we start changing something, the brain goes, what is going on? I'm missing this emotion because my central nervous system, my neural pathways, my neurons have been firing the worry, have been releasing the hormones. And we basically create a habit of being a certain way. So it does take effort. It can be, be done through meditation, visualization. If you have any questions and you have some specific questions, if you want to change some habits or if you're not sure what your beliefs are, but you can describe the emotion and the behavior, I'll be very happy to help you out and help you get into a place of clarity and to a place of empowerment. And if you want to find out more, if you want to work with me, find me on Facebook, on Instagram. My name is Miliana De Mori, and I wish you an empowered and awesome and amazing life. Mwah.